Hello, wrestling fans. Welcome to SICW All-Star Wrestling. I'm Drew Abenhaus, here with Lucky P. Larson Esquire. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a historic episode of All-Star Wrestling. Because I'm here. For the first time ever in history, we will have a World Heavyweight Championship match oh. here on television. You're going to have the AIWF World Heavyweight Champion, the Golden Boy Greg Anthony, put his title on the line. Stupidly. Against the very dangerous Axe Allwart. So stay well, tuned and see a new World Heavyweight Champion crown. We're also going to hear comments from both Sean Vincent and Bobby D ahead of their big cage match for the Central States title this Saturday the 19th. And um, that's what's up. So ladies and gentlemen, let's head up to the ring for our first matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, your opening matchup is set for one fall with a 10 minute time limit. First, from the hive, weighing 200 pounds, he is Yellow Jacket. His opponent from Belleville, Illinois, 281 pounds, he is the two time Bruiser Brody Memorial Battle Royal winner, Bobby D. I don't see the cup. I believe you, you don't see a lot of things. I, well, does he have the cup with him? He might be wearing a cup. Oh, brother. I held nice. the cup Collar and not that cup, up, Bobby but I D. held the Bruiser and Brody the cup a couple jacket. weeks ago, didn't I? are your opening contest, In Bobby fact, I D. stood at ringside the entire the match the holding yellow jacket. the Bruiser Brody cup, and he did absolutely nothing Staying to take it from me. all over him. Because he's afraid of me. Bobby D, six days away from being able to reclaim his Central States title. You know who else is afraid of me? In front of his hometown crowd. In a steel cage. I'll tell you who else is afraid of me. Little itty bitty Joey Helms. He's afraid of me too. He says a lot of things about you are itty bitty. It's interesting. Well, this one yellow thing, jacket is a pretty interesting character. Uh, one we, we thing that's not itty bitty him, is my wallet or my brains. Hmm. And if you ask Missy Hyatt, your what? attention span apparently is not very big though. We're looking at a match between Bobby D and the yellow jacket, and I don't think you've talked about it once. Because I don't care about Bobby D. The man's a Couldn't thief. Couldn't have said it better myself, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this, bit of a standoff what, that here. he's a thief? Uh, you couldn't Yellow have said that Yellow jacket, better? Bobby D eyeing each other. Bobby D not really sure what to expect here from the Yellow Jacket. And to be honest, I'm not either. I know exactly what he's got. No, you don't. Yes, I do, because I've seen him wrestle before he came to SICW. What can you tell us about the Yellow Jacket? He actually happens to be the pro wrestling Mid-South Junior Heavyweight Champion. Oh. Bet you didn't know that, did you? No, I didn't. Is that true? Yes. Well, I'm not sure about that one. You want to put money on it? No. Oh, look at that. Bobby D was going for a side headlock takeover. Did not quite get all of it. Yellow Jacket fought his way out of being on the receiving uh, end of the full force of that. The problem is he's giving up about 80 pounds to Bobby D. That is a problem. Yes, he generally competes against cruiserweights because he's in the light heavyweight division down in Pro Wrestling Mid-South. There you go. Working that left arm, you would think having a little bit of speed advantage, being a lighter man, I thought he'd go for quickness, for speed, or try to fly. work around Bobby D. But I he's, mean, if he's, he's see, there you go, toe toe. he flew. See, I said he should fly, and he flew. I love it when people listen Only to me. Only for a two. I love it when people Bobby listen D to me. Bobby D getting out of there. See, ever since he's taken to the air, he's doing better. Hooking the leg, Bobby out of there at two. And Bill Henson doing his best Bronco Lubitsch impersonation. You hear these fans, their support is fully behind the man from Belleville, oh, Illinois. whoop de doo are they going to tag in? I don't think so. Bobby whipped into the corner. Let's see what Yellow Jacket can follow it up with. Follow it up with a miss. Bobby D getting out of the way. Nice chop to the chest. And you have to give Bobby props, really, just six days away from one of the biggest matches of his career. He could have chosen to keep uh, keep the day off. He didn't have to take this he, match, but he, he did. He didn't have a choice. He's going to keep he himself was, sharp. He was forced into this match because the promoter said, if you don't wrestle, you don't get paid. And this well, man I don't has think that's no what money happened. for food. Look at that, getting out of the way. Nice power slam from Bobby D onto the yellow jacket. Oh, he's got Look a bit at of that, a he's feeling he's the momentum. Does he go for it? Oh, big 
Almost a thump, I falling body slam. That. Junkyard dog style falling body slam from Bobby D onto the Yellow Jacket, picking up the win. How often do you see that maneuver picking up wins in 2023? Every time I watch a video of the Junkyard Dog. Nicely done from our very own Bobby D. Just days ahead of his oh, sure. big cage now, match. See, now he's trying to help him up. He puts him down, he helps him up, the guy's schizophrenic. Hey, look at this, yeah, hey, that's classman. Ship. That's Sportsmanship, classiness. Oh, brother. My words will get out eventually. Not out of your brain, they won't. Nicely done, Bobby D. Back and forth matchup, picking up the win with a thump. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with the man you just saw pick up a win over the newcomer Yellow Jacket, Bobby D. Bobby, we're six days away from one of the biggest matches of your career. You are looking to reclaim your Central States title from the man who's been boastfully running around with it these last few months, Sean Vincent, and this time, he can't run away from you. He's in a cage. Oh yeah, he, not only can he not run away, but Terrence and Phillip can't get in the match either. So they're out of the match, he's in the ring, he cannot escape. He's gonna go into that cage a couple times, but he ain't going through it and away from it. He can't hang in there with me. As you saw in that match, I'm constantly learning, I'm putting new things in my repertoire, he doesn't know what to prepare for. I'm putting him on his back. I'm pinning him one, two, three. What does it mean to you personally to be in front of your hometown crowd? You have your pupil students that you t uh, you're the wrestling coach of. How does that affect you? Are you able to enter this match unemotional when you have friends, family, loved ones there watching you? As long as you can channel that emotion, it's a great thing. You don't need to be non-emotional. The energy that flows when we have those shows at the Little Devils, it motivates me to take things to a whole new level. Yeah. And you're, you're, I'm going to take it to that next level and take him out in that cage match, get my trophy back, get my Central States title back. Love it. Bobby, six days away, August the 19th, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't gotten your tickets, you can do so at the Belleville Little Devils. Bobby D looking to reclaim the Central States title against Sean Vincent. Good luck, Bobby. Can't wait till next month when I have both those things. One back around my waist, the other held high with the trophy in front of all these crowds and fans out here. Love it. Well, good luck to you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got to take a commercial break. When we return, it is time for a world heavyweight title match right here on All-Star Wrestling. Don't go away. Wrestling fans, join us Saturday, August 19th, when SICW returns to the Little Devils, performing on the 50-yard line of the Little Devils football field. That's Saturday, August 19th. Join SICW when Sean Vincent takes on Belleville's own Bobby D inside a steel cage at the Little Devils field, and this will be for the SICW Central States title. Join us Saturday, August 19th at the Little Devils. Wrestling fans, you looking for the best in daily lunch specials and great menu food items? Look no further than Layla's Roadhouse, 440 Falling Springs Road in Cahokia Heights, Illinois. That's right, a family sit-down dining and always great specials. Also has the best pizza in the area. Wrestling fans, for all your massage needs, visit the Restorative Massage Center located inside the Sheer Technique Salon in Troy, Illinois. Masseuse Shauna has been a licensed massage therapist for over 10 years, and she customizes each massage to meet the needs of her clients, performing Swedish deep tissue and trigger point therapy. For all your massage needs, contact Shauna with the Restorative Massage Center. Ladies and gentlemen, hey guys, I am here with the opposite side of the match we just spoke with Bobby D about, Mr. Vincent. This may be the last time we see this belt on your shoulder, good sir. This Saturday, August the 19th, Citizens Park in Belleville, Illinois. It's a fundraiser for the Little Devils. You are putting this on the line against the Belleville Devil himself, Bobby D. And you can't run away this time. You're locked in a cage. First off, how dare you? You actually think that this is the last time I'm going to have this title. Potentially. 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 Potentially, you're an idiot. You know, potentially about it. Herb Simmons, you like to throw your way around, don't you, dude? Yeah, 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 you're Mr. Owner of SICW. I said I was not ever going to defend this talk Bobby D ever again, and I meant it. American politics, eh? That's fine. Herb, 
You just signed Bobby D's death warrant in a steel cage locked in there with me? It might as well be a retirement match for him, yeah, Drew. I will walk in there, the champ. I will walk out of there, the champ. And Bobby D will be carried out on a stretcher. You read my mind. Well, here's the thing. Not just are you kept in the ring with Bobby D, you will be kept out of the ring. In what world do you live in where you think if I want to do something, I'm not going to do it? You think you think I can't climb? You think I can't find and, – and, you know, let's be honest. If I do get in there and I do hit Bobby with that brand-new Greco-Roman Glenplex as visible proof of me putting Austin Bulatalo out, I'll put Bobby out. But, you know, I, I'm so confident in Sean that I don't even think I'll have to get involved. Maybe this was the plan all along. Maybe this is what we wanted, where Bobby has nowhere to go. Because, hey, there's a cage, but that just means you could throw his face off of it. It won't just be war paint that he puts on his face. It'll actually be his own blood. That's right. You guys understand something, Drew. Bobby, you're not locked in there with me. You're locked in there with the champ. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a confident Sean, Vincent, and Glenn Williams. Six days ahead of the huge show, Belleville, Illinois, Citizens Park, fundraiser for the Little Devils. Sean Vincent, Central State's title on the line in a steel cage. If you haven't gotten your tickets, just come to Citizens Park this Saturday night. See a huge cage match, ladies and gentlemen. This is all yours. You are going to beat him. You're going to brutalize him. You're going to brutalize him. That's this Saturday, but now it's time for a heavyweight title match. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your all-star main event for the AIWF World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, your challenger from Detroit Rock City, weighing 221 pounds, Axe Allward. His opponent, is from Amityville, Illinois, weighing 235 pounds. He is the reigning, defending AIWF World Heavyweight Champion, the Golden Boy, Greg Anthony. Your referee, Denny Thomas, showing off the beautiful World Heavyweight Championship. That will soon be around the beautiful waist of Axe Allwart. Referee checking the opponents. Stupid, stupid, stupid man here. Well, I'll call the match with you anyway. Denny Thomas calls for the bell. Ladies and gentlemen, while this is our TV main event, it is one fall or TV time remaining. We're putting it on earlier in the show than we normally would so that we have the best chance of getting a winner in case the match goes long. We do have our commercial commitments. We might have to sneak into a commercial break for those commercials. If so, the cameras will keep rolling. If this match ends before the end of the episode, we will have our promoter's corner. We also have some standby matches available if time permits. You done? Are you done? For now. Goodness gracious, do you ever shut up, Drew? Did you not listen? If you'd be quiet, you might learn something sometime. Gimmick infringement. Anybody ever tell you that? No. Now, what an opportunity this is for Axe Allward. Yeah. Sim he, simply he's by injuring opponents and continuing to win matches, all he had to do was come over to the table and call out the champ, and he got what he wanted. Yes, so Greg what Anthony is stupid. An opportunity Axe Allward has. Could you imagine if this man, that I don't even know if Greg Anthony knew who Axe Allward was two weeks ago. He knows who he is Axe now. Axe Allward very well could leave this episode the world heavyweight champion. And he deserves it. He's smarter than Greg Anthony. Greg Anthony's an idiot. He basically just gave in. He jumped at the opportunity to get some glory on SICW TV. It and he's going to lose his world title to somebody he didn't even know about. 
There's an old episode of Memphis Wrestling where Bill Dundee tricked Jerry Lawler into putting up, um, I believe it was the Memphis title or the Southern title, but either way, he tricked him. Bill Dundee won the title, and it ended up so that Bill Dundee could be the man to receive a world title shot against Ric Flair when Ric Flair was coming to town. It was an episode-long plot of... Uh, you know, or it, you could works. just go back about a year ago when the Space Cowboy Jason Jones showed up with his Mid-States title and he stupidly challenged Attila Khan for the title that he had. And he lost and Attila Khan won the belt. He certainly did. So that's I exactly a, what's going to happen here. I give here. a lot of credit to guys like Jason Jones and to Greg Anthony for coming in and putting titles on the line. But to your point, that just shows how dangerous the competition is here in SICW. So why would you ever come in and put up, let alone a mid-stage title, the world title? I mean, this is just ludicrously stupid. Because you're a competitor, you have class, you're looking to challenge yourself. You're an idiot, it's you have no brains. a lot of positive attributes that you don't know much about. So I understand why you can't understand it. All I know is winning. And this does not lead to winning. This leads to getting your butt kicked and losing. Is that because more often than not, when you try to fight fair, you come up on the short end of the stick? No, because I, I don't go into these be. battles unprepared. When, when you fight fair, you just lose? I go the into only, battles the, prepared. The only way you can win is by being underhanded? That's absolutely not it's true. It's sort of based in, secure, in insecurity. That's not true either. Oh, look there at have that been many times on SICW TV I've said, and did I interfere in that match? And you said, no, you didn't. It's been once or twice. A lot more than that, big boy. This is heck of a match. Both of these men are over 20-year veterans. We mentioned how Axe Allward, even in the beginning of his career, gained tutelage under the wing of Dory Funk Jr. So that's one of the greatest world heavyweight champions of all time. So it's not like Axe doesn't have the tools in his arsenal to uh, of course not. Get, get the job done. And here. look oh, at look him. At look at the body on Axe Allward. You compare that to the body of the Pillsbury Doughboy in, in gold. Who's, who's got the better body? Physiques don't mean everything. Physiques don't re represent necessarily toughness. Strength. Okay. Well, let's look at toughness agility. and strength and agility then. Who has left his opponents paralyzed, half dead, and unconscious for the last couple of months? I don't know that that has anything to do with those qualities we just mentioned. Other than of course it does. The willingness to hurt somebody yeah, and absolutely. do whatever it takes to win. It's called the but killer instinct. Obviously, Greg Anthony has the same instinct or else you wouldn't be the world heavyweight champion. When's the last time you saw him defend it? Couldn't tell you. That's I, exactly right. I'm a newcomer to the AIWF and to Greg Anthony. So just because I know him very well. So you tell me the last time he defended it. About five years ago. Highly unlikely. Ten years ago? Nice shoulder block into the corner. I can tell you this, Weekend he's never defended it against Sax Allward before. Ax Allward following up with a nice rear chin lock. He's never defended it against Sax Allward before. And he probably won't ever get nope. the opportunity to do it again after he loses here. We shall see. I tell you what, I have no horse in this fight. I've gotten to know Greg Anthony a little bit with him doing commentary. The expression is you have no dog in the fight. I know I appreciate Greg Anthony uh, doing commentary as opposed to the normal yelling voice in my ear. It's a dog so, fight. Horses race. They don't fight. So When's I, the last time you've seen a horse fight? There are cock fights, dog fights. Not horse fights. Unbelievable. You have great difficulty focusing. Nice you're, rear chin lock. You're right. It is hard sometimes work. to focus when you make mistakes every time you open your mouth. Sure. And thankfully, I call the match rather than point out all of your mistakes, or that's all we'd be doing here all day. You never would have the opportunity. I don't make mistakes. See what I mean? He can't focus, folks. I try. I do my best. Uh-huh. Grow the some champion, hair. champion, you grow some hair. I got hair. I, the sides of my head grow hair, too. I could have your hair cut if I wanted to, but who would want to look like that? Missy likes it. Well, that again, going back to your big wallet, right? Well, Blows to the you, you may have a point there. I tell you what. You take the air, the wind, out of the golden boy. And does it become the silver boy or the bronze boy? Interesting. I thought so. These are two world-class opponents here. I they don't didn't know. hook the leg for I, such a golden, golden retriever. Hey, Axe is calling for a timeout. What's interesting about Axe, I know he challenged Greg for the title, 
I'm not sure that's his ultimate goal. Axe Allwart has been uh, deriving quite a bit of pleasure off of injuring people and sending them away from the business. So you're calling him a sadist? I don't know what, to him, the bigger payoff would be. I know the world title comes with money, prestige, comes with bigger matches, notoriety. I don't know that that's why Axe is doing this. Well, we'll know if he wins the title or if he pile drives Greg's Anthony in the middle of the ring. Of course, if he pile drives him, he might win the title and he can get to do both. Nice arm drag sends Axe Allward not only to the opposite side of the ring, but right on outside Axe. He sends him not only outside the ring, but right to the outside. See, you focus on weird things. Nice chop to Because Axe I'm Allward. listening to you butcher the English language. Focus on the match, Lucky. Focus. I focus on Greg Anthony focus. on his butt when Axe Allward is destroying there him. There you go. Good job. Axe Allward staying all over Greg Anthony. That's what he's going to have to do to and, stay one step ahead. And you, As, like, you like the fact that Greg Anthony is now about a foot from the stretcher that he's going to likely end up on? And I will say, with what we've seen from Greg Anthony here in SICW, he's not invulnerable. Against his, in his match against Waco several uh, weeks ago, he struggled more than I thought he would, to be honest with you. He got the win, but again, Waco, Waco pushed him to his limits. And if Waco know, pushed him to his I, limits. I don't know what the champ's limits are. He certainly, it wasn't as easy of a victory as I think he thought it was, but either way, Axe Allward. Is no Waco. Quite the test here and has been really in charge of, I'd say, 70% Beautiful of this match fist so drop. far. Yeah, and if you keep Greg, having to play Anthony from behind, if you keep having to play from behind, eventually you're not going to be able to catch up. Axe Allward is way ahead on points. I know as the world heavyweight champion, Greg Anthony, his cardio, his strength, all has to be world class. But if you are judging by physiques, you got it right. I mean, Axe Allward, you would think, would have the cardio, the strength advantage. But that's not always everything. Maybe Greg Anthony has the smarts advantage. That's why he's a world champion. The smarts advantage? Yeah, I think we've already established he's an idiot. The man accepted a match with a dangerous challenger yeah, he doesn't even know. Being a champ that defends your title is certainly not make you an idiot. It certainly doesn't make you smart. Nice. Chin lock. Axe has this right where he wants it. He should just give up. Fight another day. Teddy Maybe Thomas he can win checking it back. the arms. Greg Anthony hasn't had a ton of movement in the last 10, 20 seconds. From a chin he lock. He might be out. Is he out? Is this going to do it? Do we have a new? Oh, <laughs> we were six inches away from a world heavyweight title switch here in SICW. Axe Allward. And although Axe, I don't think, is a great representation of what we try to do here in SICW, it sure would put SICW on the map if Axe Allward could wrangle the world championship off of the Golden Boy. I'm going to tell him you said that. I think he's a fine example of SICW talent. He's strong. He's powerful. He's leaving men on stretchers. Axel Wart's got this one where he wants it. Golden Boy, he needs to get something going. I know he's in there with. Well, he just a, needs to get going and I, leave. I know he's in there with an opponent he doesn't know a ton about, but I, I don't know what it's going to take Two, if he needs to try to re rely on the strength. Four. If he I needs love it, I love it. See, Axel Wart taking advantage of every last second. One, two, three. See? And that time he got off at three. Just to be very sure. He knows if he's disqualified, he doesn't win the world title. Sure. I will never take anything away from Max Allward. I, I used to have a lot of respect for the man and his abilities. Okay, so you I have still, taken away. You've taken I away respect. I still have respect for his abilities, but since the man seems to be a little different than the axe I'm familiar with, I don't know. Look at that. See, it's just it's a different human being. Obviously, but you didn't really know him. Maybe a much more dangerous human being One, as, as we two, see. Three, four, five. See? That's it's the, not just me. That's the toughness, the fortitude of the world champion. That he the kicked out at five. Boy. 
You struggle with numbers. Good with words, bad with numbers. I counted to five. I know you did. Look, at there he is. He's got to dig down deep if he's going to try to turn this one around. The Golden Boy has been on the defensive for way too long in this match. Whoa, look at that. Down to the middle rope that time. Using the momentum of him crashing against the middle rope to spring right back with a beautiful clothesline. Where is he getting this second win from? Look at that. Well, well that didn't last very long. That was a short win. Yes. Big elbow drop. One, hey, I two, to... ten. I don't want to say that Greg Anthony is the underdog here, but just going by the first ten minutes or so of this contest, what Axe, you're trying to say is Axe Allward is having his way with this guy. I know that I would have expected a little bit more of an offensive onslaught from. Uh, this is my first experience learning about the Golden Boy. So you know, we're learning together. We know he can take a lot of pain, a lot of punishment, and survive and come back and dish it out just as brutally as he's doing right now. Head full of steam. Look at that. Elbow smashing axe into the corner. Followed up Ooh. with almost a Dusty Road style elbow drop to the top of the noggin. That looked like it hurt. Look at that axe. I don't know if he knows Come where on, he is right off. now. Golden Boy. Shake it off. This is the world title. Oh, Look he at was this. going for his finishing oh, move. Yes, he was work. going for the Midas touch. Was the Golden Boy X went to the eyes, avoided the finishing maneuver. No matter how big you are, good thumb to the eye oh. will stop you. Oh, look at that. He went for a suplex. Golden Boy reversed it. He got the oh three. My gosh. Are you wow. Me? Out of nowhere. Are you kidding me? It seemed like X All Ward had this one under control, but that's all it takes, ladies and gentlemen, with somebody as experienced, as talented as the Golden Boy, Greg Anthony. All it takes is one maneuver. Well, he's not one done hold. Yet. Oh, oh my he's God. Not done yet. Do no, it. No, no. Do it. X. Yes. He's got the champ. Yes. Oh my God. Beautiful. X All Ward. Beautiful. Pile drives the world heavyweight champion in the center of the ring. There he, you go. He's showing off with that AIWF world heavyweight championship. But ladies and gentlemen, it's not his title. He did not win. It will be soon enough. Although I have to say, Greg Anthony does not currently look like a world heavyweight exactly. champion. Nor does he look like a winner. You got one man standing over a man's limp body who's about to be carried out on a stretcher. Who do you think's the winner? Well, you might think he doesn't look like the winner, but regardless, the one, two, three goes in the record books. Greg Anthony is the winner and still the world heavyweight champion. That may be the most costly victory X, in Greg Anthony's career. X through his carryout service into the ring. And look at that glory hound, Brandon Beretta, coming out to get TV time. I mean, kind person, nice friend, good man. No, I mean glory I know, hound. I know nobody's called you any of those things ever. He's a glory hound. Look at this. What a message Axe Allwart just sent to the world champion. He took him to the limit, although Greg Anthony got the win. He retained his title. Axe Allwart, look at this. He's proven a point. He's sent a message. Look at what Axe Allwart has done to the world heavyweight champion. Yeah, he put him on a stretcher and almost killed the man. Isn't that this a shame? Is absolutely unbelievable. I think it's great. This is exactly this. what he deserves. He doesn't look too smart now, does Greg he? Greg Anthony hasn't really moved since that pile driver. We have to hope he'll be okay. But, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Anthony retains the title. I don't hope he's okay. Max Allwart, maybe with the last laugh with the pile driver here on All-Star Wrestling. And that'll teach Greg Anthony to keep his big yap shut next time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to go to this week's Promoter's Corner. Let's do that now. Wrestling fans, over the past several months, there's been quite the feud between the Canadian hero Sean Vincent and Belleville's own Bobby D. We saw Sean Vincent capture the Central States title and then steal the Bruiser Brody Memorial Cup that was won by Bobby D this year at the Bruiser Brody Memorial. These two have battled through many different communities, and now the promoter has decided it's time that these two battle inside a steel cage to see once and for all who is the Central States champion. As you will see in the next several clips, we'll see what led up to bringing these two gentlemen into the steel cage this Saturday night at the Little Devil Stadium. Take a look.
Wrestling fans, join us Saturday, August 19th, when SICW returns to the Little Devils, performing on the 50-yard line of the Little Devils football field. That's Saturday, August 19th. Join SICW when Sean Vincent takes on Belleville's own Bobby D inside a steel cage at the Little Devils field, and this will be for the SICW Central States title. Join us Saturday, August 19th at the Little Devils. Ladies and gentlemen, you just saw it. That was this week's Promoter's Corner. I'm a little distracted by what we just saw. The World Heavyweight Champion, the Golden Boy, Greg Anthony, victorious in his title defense, but he's the latest victim of Axe All Warts Pile Driver and the Axe Carryout Service. Isn't that a shame? He won his match. He won his first title defense here in SICW. You have to imagine the Golden Boy is not finished with Axe Allward, I believe Axe probably just made things worse for yeah, himself. Yeah, I think Axe Allward is not done with Greg Anthony is a better way of saying it. Oh, goodness. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to our co final commercial break of the night. When we return, it is your TV main event as Peyton Ayers takes on Gil Rogers. That's right after this. Don't go anywhere. Wrestling fans, there's nothing better than barbecue and wrestling. When you're hungry, stop by Mr. Barbecue with two locations to serve you in Columbia and Waterloo, Illinois. Great barbecue, cold beverages, and SICW Wrestling. Wrestling fans, SICW Wrestling has been providing fundraising opportunities for several decades for local communities and nonprofit organizations. If your community or organization is in need of a great fundraising opportunity, SICW Professional Wrestling is the way to go. For more information or to schedule an event, call 618-286-4848 or 618-719-1034. We'll bring the matches to you. Ladies and gentlemen, your all-star wrestling main event is set for one fall. TV time remaining. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by the Merchant of Violence, Stephen E., representing Devastation Incorporated, currently residing in Cairo, Egypt, 315 pounds, Peyton Ayers. His opponent from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, at 210 pounds, Gil Rogers. That guy smiles way too much. Oh, look, he's throwing in the towel already. Yeah, <laughs> he learned that from you. Again, little Joe Helms was begging me to throw in the towel, Ooh, the so The bell I is did. rung. Your main event is underway. Gil Rogers, Peyton Ayers. Two men climbing the ranks here in SICW. Gil making a return off of a lengthy hiatus from a quad injury. So you've said. Peyton Ayers, over a hundred pound weight advantage, also has the advantage of the Merchant of Violence watching his back. My good friend, Stephen E. And when he buys this company, you better beg him for a job. Look at this, that's one thing, he's quick, he's more experienced, a little more wily of a veteran is Gil Rogers. Peyton's gonna have to rely on some of his physical attributes here because he doesn't have the experience and the mental attributes. He's got the size advantage, the strength advantage, the Stephen E advantage. Whoa. Look at this, hey, talk about strength advantage. He just broke that waist lock. He just pried Gill's hands right apart. Oh look, here comes the rightful world champion. Oh. The rightful AIWF world heavyweight well, champion. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Axe Allwart making his way to the commentary table. My pleasure. 
You you know, you should have won that match. I did win. I think you, you certainly had a moral victory, didn't you? I definitely had a moral victory. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. And in fact, when the match was over, I would say that you walked out under your own power and the world champion was carried out half dead. Am I right? Well, obviously, Lucky, you're always right. You're like me. Exactly. I mean, we're, we never lose. We're always right. We're always standing tall. He's supposed to be the heavyweight champion. He comes into our backyard. Lucky me and you're, this is our backyard, man. This is our home. You don't come into our home. Peyton Ayers kicking out at two. Tell us, you're the world champion. Oh. So, like, all I know is this. I'm going home to my house. I'm going to drink Budweiser after this is over. Right? I'm going to sit out in my backyard. I might grill me a big old steak. You know what he's going to be doing? Big clothesline hospital from Peyton Ayers. that jacked up neck. And you know, he kind of looks like a Bud Light drinker to me. Gil Rogers out yes, at one. Yes, yes, there are many ways to respond to that, but I will just say that I believe the next time you face Greg Anthony in the ring, you will be leaving not only with him on a stretcher, but with a big gold belt around your waist. Peyton Ayers has well, Gil no Rogers. I've got no doubt in my mind that I'm going to be the heavyweight champion. Right where I he mean, wants him. Half my work's done. He probably won't even show up. They're just going to mail the belt to my house. There is a so match. I think he's scared. He'll never come back from there this. There is a match happening. I'm doing my best, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I agree. You see, the bottom line is if he had any brains, he wouldn't get within a mile of you at this point. Well, that is the one bad thing. I don't think he's got much brains. Peyton Ayers taking exactly it to what Gil I was saying. I mean, he can't Into be too corner. smart. He got in the ring with me to begin with. Exactly. Exactly. See, Drew, that's what I've been telling you for the last two weeks. Gil Rogers. Greg Anthony is an idiot. Struggling to get back to his feet against Peyton Ayers. Greg Anthony is an idiot. But I'll tell you who's not an idiot. See that guy, that Peyton Ayers right there? Now, he's a monster. He's a monster. Look at him. He is, and, and he is knocking the stuffing out of Gil Rogers. He's going to send him back to his own neighborhood. Well, yeah, but, I mean, Gil Rogers is tough. I mean, if you're tough enough to get Gil Rogers down like that, you know you're a bad man. I mean, look at him. Yep, see, Peyton Ayers is a bad man. He's got the strength advantage, the size advantage, and he's got the Stephen E advantage. Well, yeah, I mean, having a good man in your corner never hurts. Good coach? I mean, how many football teams win a Super Bowl without a coach? Exactly. And I've always said, Egyptian I'm the Bill Belichick of SICW. Egyptian from Peyton Ayers onto Gil Rogers, out Rogers well, at, out at, at two. Well, I don't know, Bill Belichick, he's starting to lose a step. Well, that's true. You know, but I'm the Bill Belichick of the dynasty years. Oh, for sure, for sure. Rogers yeah. into the ropes. Oh, no. Holds himself, that kicks. That was a little. Hey. Yeah, try this. Yeah, that's going to work. See, now, I believe you could pick him up. Just crushing oh, elbow to the, the spine of Gil Rogers. I think you probably are. I think you I think you should body slam Drew. I should do what to Drew? You should body slam Drew and then pile drive him. They can carry him out on a stretcher and I can take over completely. Steven E well, hey, using the I distraction. That, I, uh, sit out here with there. Absolutely. See that would be a great thing. Distracting Nick right now. I could do play by play, you could do color commentary, and Drew could get all the get well cards from his two fans. Well, I mean, everybody's got to have a job. Peyton he can probably Ayers do that get well cards you know, from his hospital. Gil right Rogers now. right where exactly. he wants him, picks See, him up for a that's how you body slam somebody. Slam. That's how you body slam somebody. He heard you. Well, yeah. Rogers I mean, guy, out at two. He's young, but man, he knows what he's doing. He's a monster. Exactly. Exactly. See, I think this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, now, explain why. Tell these stupid fans what has brought you. Why that's are you... Glorifying them with your presence at this point. Well, because SICW is the greatest promotion in the Midwest, and I'm the greatest wrestler probably of all time. So it's like a match made in heaven. You can't have the best promotion without the best wrestler, can you? I would definitely agree. You got the best manager, the best wrestler, the best independent professional wrestling company in the Midwest, as you said. That is the only correct statement I've heard in about five minutes, ladies and gentlemen. That I'm the best manager? Thanks, Drew. I'm that, glad you had some confidence in that me That wasn't the one. Try to yeah. pay better attention. Oh, I'm the one paying attention. I think you better pay Peyton attention Ayers because I've got Axe Allward standing right next to me, so you better be very careful what you say. You know, your, uh, your assistant over there is awful rude. He's talking over us. And Peyton you know, Ayers. Oh, my God. Look at that clothesline. Exactly. He should just shut up. He might Gil Rogers. Something. He might be done for with that well, one. It's hey, like you know he just ran into a 315-pound oh, clothesline. Well, you got to give him a little bit of credit. He's got some toughness. He did kick out. He wants to keep getting beaten on, I guess, somebody else without without too many brains. Well, no, he ain't got much brains, and what he's got in there, uh, I think Peyton's about to knock him out. Yep. More guts than brains. Yeah, but uh, you, can't, you ain't going to pay the rent with guts, I'll tell you that. That is true. That is true. 
And there's a closed fist, another oh. closed fist. Look at this. No, Jim Rogers, that was an open hand, and you know it. He's getting momentum now going he back pulled in his, his hair. favor. No, he went for a headbutt, but I, I think Peyton's skull might be a little bit harder. He might have See, again, that one. he's stupid. You know who else is stupid? Greg Anthony. Oh, yeah, I mean, we'll be talking about that forever, how stupid he is. Oh, but look, hey, I think Peyton's got him. Check it out. Check it this out. could be it. This could be it. Oh, telegraph the back body drive. Hey, he's got the tights. Oh, thought Gil might have had him of with Of course that you one. thought. You're Peyton wrong Harris again. got out of that. Don't you ever get tired of being wrong, Drew? I don't think he does. Every time I hear him talking, he's wrong. Exactly. See, it's such a joy having someone out here Both men who sees struggling things to the get same back way to I their do feet. and not through these nice. rose-colored glasses. Back and forth matchup between two main event talents. Gil Rogers, of course, a former two-time tag team champion. Peyton Ayers. And neither one of them can lace the boots of the real AIWF World Heavyweight Champion, Axe Allward. Of course, Peyton Ayers. Oh, yeah, I mean, Peyton Ayers is... He's pretty tough, but he ain't near as tough as me. Still looking no to acquire. Well, no, nobody is. I mean, I'm just pointing out that he's way tougher than any normal His human first being. gold here in SICW. You have to wonder what he might have his sights set on. The Central States title uh, would, might be a good one for him. Or the heavyweight title. You never know. Oh, Attila Khan is under up. temporary or indefinite suspension. We're not sure what's up with Jake Prater. Peyton Ayers might need a tag team match. He might be a man to himself now uh, with Devastation Incorporated. He might need a tag team match. You mean a partner? Yes. Unbelievable. See what I have to put up with? I feel your pain, brother. I feel your pain. Gil got out of the way, heading to the top rope. Peyton, you better High watch it. High risk maneuver. Better watch it. Oh, he nails it. Cross body block to Peyton Ayers. Yeah, I wasn't still sure about that one. Still, yeah, it's going to be harder to hold down a 315-pound man. Especially when like you that. don't hook a leg. See, Axe Allward would have hooked a leg, wouldn't you? Well, yeah, if I hit a body press, but, I mean, a pile driver, you don't got to hook nothing. You can just pin him with your finger. Yeah, I was going to say, you could pin him with your pinky. Nice drop kick sends Ayers to the corner. Following up. Oh, that's that monkey oh, flip he uses. A great success. The Stephen E. Stephen e with the, the Stephen cheating. E. Advantage. That, that is cheating. Can get the job done. Peyton Ayers blocks Ooh. the monkey flip oh, attempt with a huge elbow. Oh, is this going to do it? Two. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. he hooked both oh, legs. Go. He got the Beautiful. pinfall. Ladies and gentlemen, Peyton Ayers, with a little bit of help from the merchant of violence, hooked both legs. Got the win. See, the difference is Gil Rogers didn't hook a leg and he didn't win. I have to say, Peyton Ayers this hooked the leg and he won. Is an upset. Nicely done, Peyton Ayers, with a little help from Stephen E. Victorious via pinfall over Gil Rogers. Yeah, a little help from your friends. Today on All Star Wrestling. And what a joy it has been to have someone the caliber of Axe Allward standing here the real AIWF World Heavyweight Champion, and as soon as he gets that cowardly dunce back in the ring, he will have the belt. Congratulations on your soon-to-be victory, sir. Thank you very much for having me out here, Lucky. It was a pleasure as always. Drew, not so much, but I'll see you guys later. Absolutely. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Wrestling fans, what an episode of action. We saw Bobby D pick up a win over the Yellow Jacket just days ahead of his huge match in Belleville, Illinois against Sean Vincent. Which we he's going to lose. We just saw Peyton Ayers with a little help with a handful of tights from Stephen E picking up a win over Gil Rogers. But the highlight of the episode, it's putting up SICW on the map. Ladies and gentlemen, it was the AIWF Heavyweight Championship of the World on the line. Back and forth battle, the golden boy, Greg Anthony, did pick up the one, two, three to retain his title, although but as we saw the last time we saw Greg Anthony, he was being carted out on Axe's carryout service. So Anthony retains the title. Did Axe gain the last laugh, the last Absolutely. word in this one? And one other mistake you just made. That didn't put SICW on the map. It when helped. Lucky P. Larson Esquire yeah. joined this roster over a year ago, that's what put SICW on the map. But it's a privilege for us to be a part of the AIWF. Props to the Golden Boy for retaining his title. Hopefully he is not too injured. We'll see what's going on there. But ladies and gentlemen, this has been a historic episode of All-Star Wrestling. Thank you so much for joining us. We will be right back here next week for Lucky P. Larson Esquire. I'm Drew Abenhaus. Have a great night, everybody. We'll see you next time right here on All-Star Wrestling.